Welcome to Fantastic Fiber Friday. And today, as you can see, I'm filming from the house because I'm going to film some spinning techniques over the next few weeks to show you just different ways you can spin your fiber. And I have here some, I'm trying to brush some dust off my pants. I have here some top that I had um, combed a while back. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the inchworm or the short draw method put that back there of spinning this fiber so I'm gonna go ahead and get myself set up here my seats a little too close my head's a little too close to the camera oh my and pop off my shoes here because I don't spin with shoes on it looks like I can go back a bit further and I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera down towards my wheel so you can kind of see what I'm doing and got my wheel set up and this is my sequoia wheel hello Aussie and I'm gonna go ahead and spin up just start spinning this and I'm gonna use what's called the inchworm method and this is the method most new spinners learn right away let me see if my brake's tight enough to pull anything on. Okay. There we go. Oops, maybe I need to go the other way. There we go. See, I have it attached to my leader here, my fiber, and I'm going to go ahead and start spinning it. Some spin going up there, and all I'm doing is basically inchworming my way along. There, get my brake right, there we go. Pull that out just a little bit more. And I'm just gonna go ahead and inch my way along across the fiber and get it spun up. And basically what it is, with the inchworm method, what you're doing is you're keeping your hands very close together and catching the fibers and just slowly pulling a bit out at a time and working your way back. And this is some fiber that's been, um, I've had for quite some time, so it is a little bit compacted and sometimes when that happens you can give it a shake out to kind of loosen it up a little bit but basically all I'm doing is like I said just moving my fingers back a little bit I stop the twist and pull forward and then let the twist come back and you have a lot of control over the diameter of your yarn this way and as you can see I put very light tension on this to make a really thin yarn I don't know if you can see how thin that is but this is about lace and it's just a single ply I'm going to go ahead and move that down move my Thing, my arm down there a little bit my hook I guess you could say because this um, this wheel actually has a slider hook instead of several hooks on it but basically all you're doing is like I said you just pull from the front and hang on to it in the back And draft as you go and I'm trying to blend the two colors together a little bit and in some spots I'll have more green and in some spots I'll have more purple but that's how I actually um, comb this to be two colors I always like to put green and purple together and a lot of times along with orange too because I like orange But the inchworm method, that's all there is to it. You just pull forward and let the twist climb up. Pull forward 
Let the twist climb up, and then you catch it again. You don't want your twist to go behind your pulling hand, or your drafting hand, rather. And most spinners, when they start out, they originally start out using this method. And it's a wonderful method because it does give you a lot of control. And as you can see, I'm sitting pretty far away from the wheel. And when I first started out spinning, I used to actually sit, let me slide that down again, really close to the wheel, like right here. And I would often lose my fiber up into the wheel. And with this wheel, because the orifice is a little bit higher too, I sit back a little bit further. There are some nubs in this, but I think it will just add to the character of the yarn. And that's basically it. That's your inchworm method of spinning. And I will be back next week with long draw spinning. This is Brandy Shock at the Fiber of Mabina. Oh, let me move that because I don't like being crunched. There we go. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week.